Hi friends! Today I'm going to share a road trip we took to New York City back in 2018. We crossed the border in Niagara Falls on the Rainbow International Bridge. We drove through the Finger Lakes region and stopped to view the famous Toganok Falls. Small towns in the U.S. have a different feel than the small towns in Canada. It was fun strolling through some of them on the way there. This one is Green, New York. We stopped at this little Airbnb in Ravina, New York for the night. The next day, we explored Catterskill Falls just south of Albany. We even hiked up high to get a closer look. This is the little place we booked on Staten Island. We chose this area as it seemed much less busy than Manhattan and close enough to take transit into the city for exploring. The famous New York City lights could be seen from Staten Island. For the next five days, we took the Staten Island Ferry to downtown Manhattan. Did you know that this ferry is free? It runs every half hour and twice as much during rush hour. We love this daily ride every morning. We bought tickets to the Hop On Hop Off bus to get a feel of where everything was in the city. We had to visit the famous Times Square. It was so very busy. And here is the iconic Brooklyn Bridge. Now we can say we've been here. I wanted to try the Whispering Arch in Grand Central Terminal. It was kind of fun chatting with each other across the gallery. After all the hustle and bustle and people and noise, it was nice to stroll through Central Park. It was beautiful and peaceful and one of our favorite spots in New York. The High Line is a beautiful mile and a half long park full of gardens, trees, benches, public art and more. It used to be an elevated train line delivering food to Lower Manhattan. Train use dwindled, some of it was demolished, and the rest was transformed into this lovely park that stands there today. This sea museum features the aircraft carrier, the Intrepid. We saw dozens of restored aircraft displayed right on the ship. We also got a chance to look inside this submarine called the Growler, the only diesel-powered missile sub open to the public. At the World Trade Center, there are two memorial pools where the Twin Towers used to be, new buildings, and a beautiful shopping center under this entrance called the Oculus. Coney Island was a little further away than all the other New York attractions, but we did want to visit this famous boardwalk. It was a long subway ride, about an hour from downtown Manhattan. It was fun to walk on the boardwalk and relax on the beach. Each evening, we'd head back to the ferry terminal and ride the ferry back to our little rental. 
It was a fun-filled visit to New York City. As we all know, there's so much more to see and do, so I'm sure we'll be back one day soon. <laughs>